Welcome back to this course on using Git for version controlling your research projects. In the next um, set of video, in this video, in fact, we are going to be looking at how to ignore certain things. For example, Git is amazing at looking at text files. It can track all the changes that have happened to plain text files. But what Git is not that great. In fact, what any version control system is unable to do is to track binary files. So how would binary files arise in your file system in your project for example you could have like a an image of a lab experiment or you could have for example pdfs of journal articles and you may want to keep all of them in this project um, in this project folder just to have an organized uh, way a way of organizing things you may want to have all the lab um, photos from the lab and all the research articles as PDFs related to your project, everything in this uh, folder, in relevant subfolders, okay, for example. But Git is not great in dealing with version uh, versions of these binary files. In fact, the size of the repository just keeps growing. If you had a photo called a um, photo.jpg, and if you replace that with another photo, a newer photo, Dot jpeg these are not actual commands i'm just typing it out so that you can see what i'm talking about um, the a photo and a newer photo will both be saved into a git repository and there will be no way to go uh, there will be no way to see differences between them um, because git tracks differences as a plain text ascii format um, type of differences and both of them will be committed both of them will be available and therefore the repository size these binary files uh, the repository size will just be bigger because it has to store both versions independently whereas in a text file uh, git can efficiently handle storage by just uh, saving the latest version or the oldest version i cannot remember exactly how git does it but and then just applying the change sets to get to a different version so it has a base version on top of which um, you may add or subtract uh, changes as plain text in order to obtain the newer version whereas with binary files even if one pixel changes because it's not a text based format uh, git has to store both the versions and therefore the repository will just become bloated and this becomes especially an issue if you have a lot of pdfs in the project a lot of images in the project and other binary files uh, and it may be um, slowing down your git workflow significantly past a certain point so we want git not to track these kind of files how can you do that okay this section of uh, video is based upon the notes from software carpentry uh, lesson number six and it's called ignoring things basically we want to tell git how to ignore certain things and you can use these um, as your reference notes i'm going to anyway demonstrate how to ignore these things um, uh, and tell git not to track such uh, binary files so we will simulate these binary uh, type of files uh, in this project. First of all, just to keep things organized, I want to make something called results folder. This may be results from a simulation, results from a project's experiments, but let's say these are all binary files. Okay. So I want to have some binary files. Uh, let's say I want to have some binary files in the current folder and some in the results folder. Okay. So a dot that, b dot that, c dot that are three data files, which are just data files in binary format. And then in results, you got a dot out, which is like an output of your simulation, and b dot out. So these files are non-changing in this particular example. So you got a dot that, b dot that, c dot that, three input files in a binary format, and um, a dot out and b dot out um, are two result files. As a result of running a simulation or running an experiment and they are also in binary format let's say or they may be images or whatever but they are saved in the results directly so once you do that and the touch command is used to simulate um, creation of these files it will in fact create uh, an empty uh, files in the file system let's look at the files with ls l 
and you can see that zero size files have been created for a dot dat b dot dat and c dot dat and this will help me to nicely simulate um, the ignoring aspect of of using git okay um, so and similarly the results file has been results directory has been created if i look at the results directory then you can see that a dot out and b dot out also of zero size in this example uh, of zero size in real life these files would have a non zero size right they will have a finite size uh, files there will be a few kilobytes or a few megabytes depending on the quality of your jpeg image or the size of your pdf right um, but here i'm just simulating how to ignore how to tell git to, git to ignore these kind of files because there is no point in tracking them you cannot make a div you cannot have differencing between them and they will just increase the size of the repository and git does not store them efficiently so that's the purpose of ignoring them now if i straight away do git status it will say that oh you got all these untracked files and you also have this entire folder uh, which needs to be tracked so if i add everything so i can add everything by using git add dot now we will not do that because we specifically want git to ignore all these things now git add dot is a shortcut of adding everything that is untracked so a dot dat b dot dat c dot dat and everything inside results if you want to track all these in a single nice shortcut git add dot will do that now we will not be doing this instead i'm going to tell git to ignore these binary files the data files and the out files we want git to ignore to create that git understands a special kind of file called the git ignore files in fact it starts with a dot so this is a dot file and it should be specifically named so as in the name should not be any different it should be exactly dot git ignore and i'm going to edit this file with uh, nano so if i edit this file basically i want to add everything that starts with dot that everything st that ends with that so the with the file extension dat and everything inside the results folder needs to be ignored so i can do that by just using slash results results forward by slash so everything that is a data file will be ignored and everything that is a results directory will be ignored okay let's see the result of saving this file it must be specifically called dot git ignore okay um, now i save and exit now if i look at git status it says that aha uh -huh, earlier it said that all these files need to be tracked a dot dat b dot dat c dot dat and everything inside results now it understands the presence of git ignore and in fact it offers to helpfully offers to track git ignore because your git ignore could grow over time today you may have a jpeg file and a dat file and uh, or in this particular case we have dat file for input data and out files for output data tomorrow you may have jpeg files of your lab experiments and let's say sometime later on you may have png files and couple of months later when you're ready to write your paper you may refer to other pdfs and you may have pdf files so it is helpful to track the changes to git ignore your git ignore could grow organically over time right so therefore it is helpful to commit git ignore to the project and keep track of changes to git ignore just like any other regular file but the dot git ignore is a special type of file that the git uh, version control system understands so everything that is inside dot git ignore will be ignored let's take a look at that one more time if i cat dot git ignore it says that everything that's a dat file must be ignored and everything inside the results folder must be ignored so anything that you put inside results folder shall straight away be ignored irrespective of the file extension and everything in the whole project that starts with the, that ends with the dat will be ignored okay right so git has offered to, um, helpfully offered to add um, this to the project repository so let's go and do that first of all i am going to clear my screen with the clear command i can also use control l for clearing the screen i am going to say git add dot git ignore if i say that okay it says that uh, git ignore has been now added to the repository uh, as in fact it's in the staging area not in the repository and i'm going to put that into the repository by using the git commit command with a suitable message saying that um, created a git ignore file 
tracks uh, or ignores um, that and um, that files and uh, results there for now okay so that could be a useful commit message i cannot once again i cannot stress the import importance of um, creating a meaningful commit message because these are things which will be very very helpful uh, okay so now that if i ask for git status it says that everything is clean and the working directory is clean now if you really want to uh, let's say if i try to add uh, a dot that to the project it'll say that ah a dot that is ignored by one of the rules in the git ignore files if you really want to add them use dash f maybe there is one particular file we want to track you can do that by adding git add dash f with the f flag that will force it to add uh, despite being in the ignore file so but that's not a common scenario uh, so git status now says everything is clean um, now if you want to really see the ignore files you can do git sta status dash dash ignore and that will list everything that has actually been ignored by git and it will helpfully offer to say if you really want to track something uh, in the future you can use the f flag dash f flag to add that in the future um, so that is all to know in this video it's a, a really short video um, and i encourage you to try out the exercises uh, given in the bottom of this um, lesson so things like how can you ignore nested files how can you um, include specific files um, and um, ignoring all files in a directory so try this uh, and also um, i want to show one specific thing so if you want to not ignore a certain file you can prefix it with um, so let's say in this particular case i have uh, configured um, everything uh, starting with let's look at uh, it ignore file so everything that starts with that and results are not to be ignored uh, are to be ignored but let's say if i want to uh, specifically not ignore one particular thing called uh, let's say uh, textual input dot that so all of them uh, all the other dat files are binary kind of data maybe hdfy or netcdf kind of data which are binary formats scientific formats but let's say one of our inputs comes from a textual file now you shouldn't be ignoring this in fact you should be tracking how the textual input changes over time and therefore in order to specifically track that i can use the negation operator or the exclamation operator to force git to always track changes to the textual input and let's see if this works it should so i save this file and exit and now if i ask for git status it should uh, say git ignore has been modified now let me touch um, textual input dot that if i create this file and now if i ask for git status it should say that aha textual input dot that has now been added and it will offer to track it uh, but in order to really track it you should obviously be adding textual input dot that to the project and track it but git will understand that that file is to be tracked or it should not be ignored that is a smart way of um, handling things uh, by using the negation operator once again cat dot git ignore will say do not um ignore do not ignore textual input dot that let's say if i have another file called non textual or let's say let me make it easy to type binary input dot that if i have another input that will be ignored because it will be um obeying under the rules of star dot that and it's not textual input so it'll not so let me um look at the directory structure first so clearly there is a binary input which has just been created now now if i ask for git status only the textual input is offered to be added and obviously we modified the git ignore rules okay um so that is uh, the current status uh, uh, of how to ignore things let me um check out um 
the git ignore from the let me check out git ignore from the head so that that change goes away and if i cat dot git ignore the negation operator is no longer there so i think one of the exercises is based on the negation operator um right here so um and then uh, you i strongly encourage you to try out these rules uh, and see how it fits into your workflow so git ignore the is a very powerful concept and it will really help to avoid uh, bloating of repositories over time so with that um see you in the next video